Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with a new product for 2017. This is from MSR. And at the time that I'm filming this video right now, there are no videos on YouTube of this product. So this is a brand new water filter system called the MSR Trail Shot. And I'm going to talk about it a little bit. This is a pocket-sized water filter. I'm going to read some of this stuff. It says individually tested hollow fiber membranes, which uh, that's very similar to a Sawyer filter as far as I understand. And basically the dirty water stays outside and it lets the, the clean water come inside. Pathogens uh, are stopped. So this is pretty cool. It weighs 5 ounces. 142 grams I believe and the filter rate is one liter in one minute so 60 seconds and it says right here in the lifetime of this filter you can filter up to 2,000 liters now one liter is 32 ounces or one Nalgene bottle and it says it removes uh, bacteria protozoas which in, in, under bacteria it says salmonella or E. coli and under protozoas it, it'll remove Giardia and Cryptosporidium and those are the two big ones that I'm most concerned about personally so wow that's pretty cool msrgear.com if you're interested in this and it says rehydrate drink directly from the source refill refill your water bottles with clean water and keep going stash the filter in your pocket and get back on the trail quickly perfect for runners hikers bikers and fast packers and the thing that's so cool about this is the fact that it has a hose and it can be deployed very rapidly very quickly and it's a small package this isn't actually a Nalgene this is a Coleman but this is basically the type of bottles we're talking about the wide mouth bottles that Nalgene and a lot of other people make 32 ounces is one liter so just so you know it'll do one of these in approximately 60 seconds so let's go ahead and crack this uh, package open I'm very anxious to take a look at this brand new product for 2017 so let's see here let's pull this tab back now the retail on this product if I'm not mistaken was around forty five dollars so here is the instruction manual now I, I read earlier that to it doesn't really have a backwash feature like a Sawyer does but what they do have that I thought was very neat was it had the ability to shake the filter and that would I guess in some ways backwash it so let's take a look so we have a nice little water filter here first thoughts wow it comes with a nice little rubber band to hold the, the, the hose the hose feels like a silicone hose which is cool so you just pump this baby listen to that <laughs> that's kinda of funny so there's a little pre-filter here on the bottom looks like can we unthread this I don't know I guess in a pinch if you got clogged here you could probably pull that pre-filter off but I'm curious if the pre-filter comes apart yes it does so that just pops right off there's like a little valve so it'll let water go in but not out it's kinda like just a It's kinda cool so a nice little pre-filter there on the end of the of the water filter MSR trail shot micro filter let's take a look at the top so you can basically dip this down in the water squeeze this thing and drink directly out of this with your mouth it's got like a nice rubbery feel to it look at that the whole piece comes off you can also tell that there is a a valve right here this is a little umbrella valve that looks familiar to the same type of valve that they have in the MSR Mini Works water filter. And that's a ceramic filter. That's a 0.2 micron. I have no idea what the micron rating is on this one. I'm guessing, and I'm just going out on a limb with an opinion here, but I'm guessing it's around 1 .1 micron. Probably uh, the same of, as a Sawyer. It could be 0.2 microns, which is what a Lifestry is. I'm not sure. 
So that's uh, basically the umbrella valve and what that does is that allows water to come out but not back in. It's like a check valve so to speak. So it just pops on there. This Does this unthread? I'm guessing. Guessing it does. It's kind of tight. I always got to take things apart and look. Okay, there's the microfibers. But you can, uh, apparently you can replace this, this filter here. I'm not sure what's all involved. I'm not sure what you got to do. I'm just kind of playing with the new product. So that little piece come off. And I'm guessing this pops right out. You probably replace this with the brand new. That is cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Cool design. So there's the microfiber filter. So basically this thing, uh, replacement filters, I have no idea what the cost is on these. Do not drop them. Do not freeze them, it says. Uh, once I find out the cost of these replacement filters, I'll put that in the description box down below. But basically what happens, there's a good view inside there. You can see the microfibers. So the water comes in from the bottom and it goes all around and the clean water comes out through those those little those little places there that is cool pretty cool little filter and this thing is light it's not heavy at all so I'm gonna put that back down nice and tight that's pretty cool put that baby back on it's all it all goes one way so the the notches correspond so you can only do it one way pretty cool so that's the trail shot let's take a look at this owner's manual real quick this instruction manual and again folks please make sure to check the description box down below because I will put much more information down there where you can find it and things of that nature biological hazard basically talks about the elements now I'm looking for the so it says number one prime the filter place the micro filter the pre filter into the water source remove the clean slide side cover hold the filter with the spout facing up about 45 degrees and squeeze the bulb 10 times let the bulb fully refill each time before squeezing again warning do not drop or freeze the trail shot filter a damaged fiber cannot prevent exposure to harmful microorganisms okay step number two hold it 45 degrees filter place the tip over your bottle and squeeze the bulb cool number three you can do it directly to the mouth like I mentioned earlier number four what does that say filtering water into hydration uh, reservoir so you could put it into a bladder Number five, what does it say here? Cleaning the filter, black flushing. That's what I'm interested in there. Number five, you shake it. So let's read that briefly. Clean the filter cartridge every eight liters to prevent buildup and extend the filter's lifespan. If cleaning the filter fails to restore water flow, then replace the cartridge. Okay, step one. Pump water until the bulb is half full. Shake the filter for 20 seconds. Remove the inlet hose from the nozzle. Squeeze the dirty water out of the nozzle. Reconnect the inlet hose nozzle. So I'm guessing you could repeat that process. Cleaning the pre-filter, that's pretty simple. Integrity check. Things like that. So wow, this thing is cool. I'm looking to see if they have any specs on the actual... Uh, how many microns that filter is replacing the cartridge the cartridge should be replaced when the filters flow rate drops below drops less than one quarter liter per minute and then of course they explain how to do it here's how you can get a hold of MSR And let's take a look. So there's not really anything else. It's the same directions, just different languages here on the back. 
So I'm going to set this down. We're going to get back to the filter again. And we're going to filter some water real quick. So here I have an empty container. 32 ounces. That's going to be where the clean water goes. And here is a full container of water. So I'm basically going to swap these here. So what I want to do is I'm going to open this up. This is the maiden voyage, folks. Let's pop that down in there. There's dog hair and stuff. So I'm just going to hold it at 45 degrees. One, two, wow. Thing sucks in there pretty good. Five, six. Wow, check that out. Look at that. Just squeeze that. Look at that water going in there. That is cool. Check that out. That's crazy. Look at the flow rate of that. So the bulb just fills up. So you just squeeze that thing. Well, that water just. That's a pretty fast flow rate. So you just let the bulb. See, the bulb is empty now. See? I got too excited. So basically want it to fill. Oh, my thing's out of the water. That's why. My hose was out of the water. There, I can feel it suctioning in. Wow, that is cool. I can't wait to try this in the field on some real water. And I will do that. Wow, this thing is cool. Very slick. And that water is coming out crystal clear. And I'm going slow. I'm sure if you were really in a pickle you could speed up this process. I'm down to the wire. I'm getting down to the nitty, nitty gritty down there. This is cool. This would be good to keep in your pocket. You know if you're on a boat or something you could just stick it right out of the boat. Stick it right out of the boat into the water. Thing is very simple to use. I'm hanging. I'm holding it at the wrong angle here, but I'm also out of water. Yeah, that's about it. So we're done. So then it says when you fill this bulb halfway up, then you can shake the filter. So you would fill it. You would fill it halfway up. Shake this thing for 20 seconds. And then when you're done, you disconnect this from the barb and let that water drain out. Something like that. Hopefully you saw that. Didn't get to see that, did you? So basically what I did was I pulled that hose off and I squeezed it and squeezed the, the dirty water into this old container. Wow. This thing is cool. I really like it. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this brief unboxing. Please stay tuned because I will be putting new videos, more videos, showing this thing in action in a real situation. And I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to thumbs up this video. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to be using it in the field. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Have a beautiful day. And we'll see you next time. Thanks MSR. Looks like this thing is going to be a hit. And just for the record, they did not send it to me for free. I bought it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.